Hey everybody, this is Ketchup Potato. Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. We are on part 12. If you move this statue right here... Oh man! There's a secret ladder going down. And what does this say? McCoy's hidden warehouse. Do not enter! If you look over here... Hey look, another Ginny! If we try and move this statue, you won't be able to move it left or right. You can move it... Let's see if I can make this work just right. You can move it this way, but we can't get to... You can get to do anything with that right now, so we'll have to find another way around. Uh, I, I apologize again for the last video. I can't believe how much that sucked. So hopefully we're not going to have that problem this time. I am taking some slight precautions. If you run around this way, there's a whirlwind on this bush, this bush here. This bush. He's in this bush. He's in this bush, guys! Head up in here, down this ladder. We're back in this area. So now we can move the statue back down this way. And hoppity hop 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 across. Sweet, we don't even have to fight this guy. Gotta love it when that happens. We'll have to fight all of them. Generally, if you encounter a Ginny in town, you won't have to fight them. That is obviously not going to be accurate 100% of the time. But generally. Alright. Now I'm really getting sick of this sadness music. So we are going to start talking to some villagers and see what we can do about it. Because as the protagonist of this game, as the protagonist of this game, we are. Uh, uh, lost my train of thought. Uh, as the protagonist, we are duty bound to fix everyone's problems. Can I say anything useful yet? I'm quite frightened since the incident. Hmm. I know that guy that turned into a tree. I remember his clothes. So we, that was actually a guy that turned into a tree. Scary. How are people doing in Kalima? I've been very worried. Let's see. Did you see that tree at the entrance? Yes. A tree with the man. He came to our village under a curse. His last words were that he had offended the sacred tree. Interesting. That's probably the biggest clue we're gonna get, what this old lady say. The road to Kalima is blocked now, as per Lord McCoy's orders. Lord McCoy's palace? Hmm. Hmm, no. I got more to do out here first. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Last episode, I finally did catch. Yoink. And I got a nut. That's how you get those nuts hanging in the trees. You have to use catch. Are you telling me that I'm responsible for this? This is Lord, Lord McCoy's wife. Yes. Yes, I am. Sure, I had them cut the tree down so I could build my palace. But if anyone is a victim, it's me. I've been waiting for my palace for months. Ah, uh, suck it. The lumber I ordered from Kalima disappeared after the incident. Interesting. Still not sure exactly what this incident is. But we're gonna find that out in a minute, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do. So, let's go back to this guy. Yes, I am a brave and mighty warrior. Hmm, you seem pretty confident. Oh, shut it. I'm awesome. Everybody knows it. I am so great. I am so great. Everybody loves me. I am so great. Want to see go to the red carpet. I don't think there's much to look at around here right now. If I go downstairs, can't get to those. Hmm, going into the tower, I guess. Nothing in the tower. It's kind of disappointing. I could have done more with this. Maybe that's just me. Well, let's, let's not waste any more time. Let's go see Lord McCoy. Activate the phone cutscene! Everybody has to file in individually. What's the matter, then? Sir, some new warriors have just arrived in the palace. New warriors, you say? He might be Scottish, but I'm not good, good at doing a Scottish accent, so I'm not going to try. Did you get a good look at them? Or perhaps I like to think he has a pretty straight, non-accent and just uses ye and laddie for no reasons. Hey, are these the one ye we're talking about? 
or yeah? They're but children. Nah, I'm pretty sure he's Scottish or something. Yep, I can save Kalima. I'm the protagonist. Haven't you figured that out yet? Here, this key will get you past the barricades to the east. Tie the east. Oh, I don't think you know that for sure, dummy. That's just irritating, don't you think? Yeah, sure is. Well, don't let him get too hit. Yeah, we can handle it. I will accept it. Yeah, question marks. Hey, Ivan, you don't look too enthusiastic. That curse can turn a man into a tree. You think we stand a chance? Uh, yeah, we're the protagonists. We automatically stand a chance. You know we do, right? Oh, yeah! Well, if Isaac's going, I guess I'm in too. Yeah, you got nothing else to do. You can't get into Loonpa. Won't be able to for a while. What troubles you, my lord? They seem willing enough. They call themselves warriors, but they're not but we children. Aye, these are desperate times, but I can they send such wee lads tay their doom. Hey! Man, I wanted that key. Uh, you suck, McCoy. Uh, I feel like I need to make a Star Trek reference here, but I'm gonna refrain. You can't tell me where to go. You ain't my king. I don't have a king. I am the protagonist. I am king. Oh, I'm leaving anyway. This is lame. Your name was Isaac? I'm sorry you were rejected. I never, ever, ever, ever expected anything like this to happen to Bilibin. You promise you won't- No, I'm not gonna promise I'm not gonna go to Kalima. You may not need a key. What's that? Oops, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go now. And yes, you don't need a key to get through the barricade, as I will show you in a few minutes. Running, 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 running. Get out of my way. I'm the protagonist. Alright, at this point, we'll be going east, as the plot suggests. Although one time, I accidentally went north and skipped this entirely for a while. I went back to this later, after I had my, gained my fourth party member. I hadn't, and so it's doable. I did it. I'm not sure how I managed to do it, but it did. Alright, if you notice real carefully here, dotted lines, that means something here could be moved. And it's this box here. Just slide that to the side. Ho ho! Now this is strange. What's going on here? There's a tree that looks like a person. Back to mind read. They're so heavy. <laughs> Alright, keep heading this way. Na, 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 na. Up there is Kalima Forest. Let's not go there yet. Down here is actually the actual. Woo! Anyway, down here is the actual city of Kalima. Let's go in. Hopefully, get through this cutscene without too much trouble. So quiet. Yes, talk to that tree. Who is really a person? All these trees that look like people are people. What's the matter, Ivan? This tree was a person. Yes, I've just told them that. You're behind the times. Anyway, like I said, um, yeah, I know what's happened. I see, it's because they heard the holy tree. Yes, yes. Uh, as I said, I went to the next area first one time, without realizing it, got my fourth party member, came back here, and they, the fourth party member was in this cutscene. And then I, I, I realized after a while, why aren't they saying anything? It's because they didn't have any lines programmed in. But they, they reacted, someone is attacking my arg! Flop, flop, flop. Uh, they reacted in the same way as all the other sprites in, in this cutscene. They just didn't really have any lines. Or maybe they did have lines, I don't really remember now. They, some of their lines might have been allotted to them, some of these generic lines, like, it's sparkling, could this be what turned the people into dot dot dot. I don't particularly remember, but I realized afterwards, hey, wait a minute, I usually go to Kalama first. Crap. So, it is possible to do that, if you'd like, and in certain ways, 
it's an even better idea, but I, personally, I would strongly recommend you go to Kalima before you go up north and gain your fourth party member. It kind of sounds backwards, but that's because you'd think, oh, it would be ideal to get your fourth party member before you, I mean, as soon as possible. Yeah, that barrier saved us, but <clears throat> that that all depends on the strength of the monsters, and it, it's not like Kalima isn't doable with three. It's what you're intended to do, and that's what I usually do. It's very doable with three. Just raise your levels appropriately, and you can manage it. I mean, it's tough, don't get me wrong. These, most of the battles are pretty tough. One thing I like about Golden Sun is that you it doesn't really require you to <clears throat> to really grind. Usually your levels raise about as much as they need to. You might only need to grind a couple levels. Never never really anything significant. Mm, you mean like when we're in danger? I've been ignoring this cutscene and I don't care. Nothing really happened that's important. I mean, they got saved from being turned into trees. That's about all there is. <clears throat> Basically, they were saying that um, this barrier that popped up to save them from this falling, sparkly stuff. There it is, that barrier. is Seems to be part of their subconscious synergy. And Garrett was like, but don't we just use synergy when we concentrate? I mean, isn't that what they were training to do? But apparently not. And he compares it to getting a critical hit in battle. Why don't they turn into trees? Which is something that... Who are they? Uh, you can't... You don't have any control over at all. What people are these who are amused to Tret's glamour? He's hot. He's glamorous. <gasps> Will not be enough to save the people of Kalima. They've earned their fate. Kalima took their axes to me, and now I shall take mine to them! Why would a tree have an axe? We are dying. And Kalima Forest will wither and die when we are gone. We are not the only ones who will We are not the only ones who will die, Laurel. Once we are gone, they too will go. Fret was once a kindly forest king. All oh, this animation is killing my emulator. It's lagging really bad, and it's because of all this freaking animation. I see no- I need no kindness! If you wish to save those whom Fret turned into trees, you must reawaken his gentle side. <clears throat> what? If you cannot stop, stop Tret from withering, we all will... Dot dot dot. Look for Tret deep within the forest. It's no use, Laurel. Humans cannot be trusted. I shall die, and the rest of the forest will die with me! Isaac, isn't there anything we can do? Yeah, we're the protagonists. Yeah, I have some idea. I may have played this game once or twice before. We'll leave it up to you, Isaac. Let's go save everyone. Alright, uh, that'll be the end of this video then. Uh, see you in part 13. This has been Kendra Potato playing Golden Sun. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.